Clippers Indians, Jarrett Wright, new do, and not a natural blonde, Bobby, I've been told. Bottom of the second, one nothing Brewers, Jose Valentin at third, Bobby Hughes at second, Cal Eldred at the plate, and getting it done, three nothing Milwaukee, two men score. Top four, Brewers up 5-3, Travis Fryman is at second, and Jarrett Wright. Jarrett, it's got to be the hair. Tribe down 5-4, Wright, second hit of the night. Top eight, Travis Fryman's at second. David Bell is at first. Now that we've introduced our contestants, Bob Wickman will strike out Kenny Lofton. Brewers clinging to a one-run lead. Can't you feel the tension? Indians threatening in the ninth. Down one. Omar Vizquel in second. Sean Dunstan first. Jim Tomei, Fernando Vina. Yes, yes, Brewers win. Brewers win. The first runners on first and third. No score. Matt Williams. It's in a deep left field. His 14th of the year, Williams. 12-game hitting streak, too. Diamondbacks up 3-0. Clark had some decent stuff going, though. Dave DeLucci just watching that. Mark Clark, 10 strikeouts, sixth inning. Cubs down 4-1. Sammy Sosa. He's leaving. That's more beer for us. Sosa 0 for 3. Two Ks to that point. That's Chip Carey into a disco field. Andy Fox going for his sixth of the year. Diamondbacks up 5-2. Now to the eighth. Sosa again. 3-2 count. Science! Takes Allen Embry deep. 20th homer in June. 33rd of the year. The 20 in June extending his own record. Cubs down 5-4. Greg Olson on the mound. And Manny Alexander the pop. Travis Lee going after it. Near the wall. Good play. And the Diamondbacks hold on. Winning it 5-4. Willie Blair is your winner. He's now 3-11. 50th pitch. Mindy Lopez ripping off second. Tom Pagnazzi's throw off the mark. Jeff Conine scoring from third. Royals up 2 nothing. Air to Pagnazzi. He's on first and third now. Sal Fasano against Curtis King. It's a 2 nothing Royals lead. Fasano looping to right. The liner to Shields can't get it off his knee. Jeff King will score 3 nothing. The Royals down to the bottom of the seventh. Royals up 4 nothing. It's Mark McGuire. Time to watch him. He has a single and a double and my power is beyond your understanding. 472 feet. The solo shot off of Glendon Rush. Cards now down four to one. Rush right back in it though to Brian Jordan. And there's a strike out of Fall the hostess. Your table is waiting. 98 pitches, 71 strikes. The Royals win it by a count of six to one. The Royals have won seven out of nine. Ten and you're a pitcher and you kneel down. It still goes through his five hole. Johnson didn't even see it. Bottom one, one zip rocks. Ken Griffey, third straight year as the leading boat getter in the All-Star game, as cool as the other side of the pillow. 33rd homer of the year. 12 straight series with the home run. We're tied at one. Top seven tied at four. Dante Bichette representing. Two for four on the night, hitting 336 this year. Perez scores for the second time in the game, 5-4 Rockies. Bottom eight, 6-4 Rocks. Glenn Allen Hill at bat as the potential tying run. He flares it to center, but check out Jeff Barry. Barry getting his glove swerve on, making up for an 0 for 4 day at the plate. Bottom nine, still 6-4 M's with a man on third, two outs. Mike Munoz facing Griffey. Griff lines to right. Bichette, who had those two hits, gets the out. Munoz gets the save. You get a scoreboard. Rockies get the win. 6-4. Bottom of the six, we're tied at one. Garrett Anderson busts oh, up that one tie one. off of Sean Estes. Three-run shot. What a way to celebrate his birthday. Anderson's 10th home run of the year, 4-1 Angels. Chuck Finley would have to rely on his bullpen. It's 4-3 Angels. Top of the seventh, Shigatosi Hasegawa gets Rich Aurelia to end into the 6-3 inning-ending double play. So it's still 4-3 Angels in the top of the eight. Runners at first and second. Greg Cattaray gets Bill Miller looking at a backdoor curve. Top of the ninth, still 4-3. Barry Bonds on second with your tying run. Troy Percival to Rich Aurelia. Pops it up. A bevy of Angels chase. It'll be Gary DeSarcina coming from short as the Angels hold on to win 4-3. The bullpen, two and two third innings pitch, one hit, no runs. The Angels fit. Young is limping. Well, this is the ball he would normally probably beat out in a good shot, but you see him dragging his leg right there. A bit of a pulled hammy. Darren Dreifer facing the tough Texas lineup. Bottom two against Juan Gonzalez. All-star. But he got him. Gonzalez with one for four in the game. Next up, Will Clark. He's not in San Francisco anymore. How about Dreifert? Perfect through five and a third. Rick Helling trying to match Dreifert. Raul Mondesi. E staring. Top five, one-nothing Dodgers. Guerrero. 
fouls it off to Tease and Pudge, give chase. Watch the catch by the other Ranger All-Star. Hang on. You're going to go grab him, no doubt. Look at Tatis making sure he doesn't flip over. I'm not going to get the ball. I'll get the guy who did get the ball. This is just a great catch. Look at him stare with a great concentration. Now, I love this. Watch Tatis. This is my star catcher. <laughs> Can't let anything happen to him. Adrian Beltre has gone yard. Two-run shot. The first of his career. That made it 4 nothing in favor of the Dodgers. And, hey, they're turning it around. The final score. There's another team knowing all about stadium hassles. Bottom of the second, two on, two out. Miguel Tejada trying to steal. Now well, they got him hung up. Mike Flowers heading home from the third. Double steal situation. A's up 3-1. Padres come back in the seventh. Carlos Hernandez sends it high and deep. And aloha means goodbye. Two-run shot off of Jimmy Haynes. Fifth homer. A's up 6-5. It's 8-5 in the eighth. Billy Taylor facing Wally Joyner trying to protect a three-run lead. And this ball is gone. Three-run shot to tie it up. Joiner's sixth of the year. We're tied at eight. Bottom eight. Bases loaded. Trevor Hotman facing Matt Stairs, who just watches it go downstairs. Ball for Ricky Henderson in. A's up nine to eight. Then it's Jack Voigt from Hoffman. There's ball four again. Rafael Bornegal scores three consecutive. O'Neal on for Tino Martinez. Got a lot of it, didn't get all of it. Bobby Abreu battling the wall, comes down with it. Bottom of the second, gone. Daryl Strawberry has left the building 11th on the year. Yankees up 1-0. And he brought rain with that one. Looked like something from Independence Day. 50-minute rain delay. First batter after the delay is Chad Curtis. Great piece of hitting. Fought it off the other way. Yankees up 2-0. Reigns comes in. The rest all David Cohn facing Scott Rowland and getting the whiff. Rico Bronia back in New York. Backward K. Kevin Jordan. Cohn, complete game. Struck out 11. Yankees win it by the final of 9-2. Cone 11 and 2 on the year. Didn't walk eat on the mound. Struggle. Jose Canseco. Deep to left field. 3 1 Blue Jays. 24th on the year for Canseco. Next batter is Carlos Delgado. And as Kenny would say, home run. Solo shot. 14th on the year. 4 1 Blue Jays. Actually, I like that. I'm going to steal it. Bottom four. 4 1 Jays. Alex Gonzalez. Home run. It's mine now. I'm going to patent it. Trademark at 6-1 Blue Jays. Rick Reed gave up six home runs in his first 15 starts. Four homers Tuesday. Roger Clemens. All Roger all the time. BMAC down. And then Clemens against the former J, John Olerud. Backward K. And then final two outs in the ninth. Todd Pratt. The whiff. 11 Ks for Clemens. 141 pitches. Blue Jays win this one by the final of 6-3. to three. Clemens. 2 0. A little defensive trouble. John Valentin to FP Santangelo. Newbie dropped the ball, and that would lead to a run. Expo's up 2 1 here. Reggie Jefferson. Mark Gruzelanik has trouble there as well. Next batter, Vladimir Guerrero in right. Can't get it. Still bottom of two. Darren Lewis to short. Gruzelanik. Trouble again. Gets the force only at second. Led to another run. Fourth inning, Sox up 3-2. Two. two runners on. Damon Buford hitting it hard toward the big green wall. Bonked it off the wall. Lewis scores. Valentin flying in head first. The relay. Say chow da. Sox up 5-2. Buford, big game. More on that soon. Eighth inning. Sox up 6-4. Expo still with trouble. Who's a line? Rough play there. Nomar, though, extended his hitting streak to 21 games. The Expos, by the way, lead the majors into problems. Top of the first when he ran into Andres Galarraga. Man aboard. Gone. Two-run bomb. 26th on the year. First since June 10th. Been bothered by the bad back. Bottom of the first. Same score. Fred McGriff. Galarraga's Galarraga took his place in that Atlanta lineup and at first base. Caught looking by Denny Nagel. 2-1 Braves, top of the fourth. Galarraga again. Eat your heart out, Mark McGuire. Where did it go? On the catwalk. On center field. Dropped back onto the field. Nobody knew where it went. Up there. The flying Walendas. 3-1 Braves. 7-2 Braves now. Rick White plunks Galarraga on the left hand. Bobby Cox is not pleased. Galarraga would leave the game after that happening. Braves go on to win it 7-2.
Galarraga now has five two homer games this year. Denny Nagel went six innings to pick three. Pictures available of this one. Jim Elin's Marlins against Baltimore. Fourth inning. Florida down 5 1. Cliff Floyd up the middle. Mark Cote, Todd Zeal come to score. And the Marlins down 5 3. Top of five. Same score. Todd Dunwoody, the grounder. Roberto Alomar. Military precision. Or not. Can't get the out. The air instead. Three batters later. Scott Erickson into Zeal. And the home plate umpire, Mike Riley. That would load the bases. Two out. And Floyd. He's your batter. You see the bases loaded. Erickson delivering. Base hit. Dunwoody will score. Edgar Renteria will score. Zeal ends up being meet between second and third, but the game's tied at five. Head to the seventh, still tied at five. Two out, two on. Derek Lee. It got through and it bounced and it's fair. Renteria scoring. Floyd scoring. Marlins, once down 5 nothing, end up winning by a count of 7-5. to five. And Ray Miller can't like what he sees as the... To a good start. Top two, Mike Cameron doubling down. The left field line, Albert comes in to score. So does Robin Ventura. It's 2 nothing White Sox. That's a nice lead for Jamie Navarro, Harold. But what does he do with it? Well, he doesn't hold it, Carl. Here's a... Ooh. Ow! Put that right in the middle for Bagwell to just drive up in that left center field gap. He didn't have real good command of his pitches right here. You see the splitter hangs it over to Alou, and Alou just hammered it. Starting to get a little warmer in that after dome. You got to make sure you get that ball down because it is hot. Fourth inning, they're loaded. They're tied at two. Navarro says, all right, I've thrown him over the middle of the plate. The bases are loaded. I'm going to try a splitter. Ricky Gutierrez. He doubles. A great piece of hit and take it the other way. He's had such a big year for the Astros. That's one of the reasons they're playing so well. Bell scores, so does Alou. Artie Contreras comes out and Artie says, settle down, please. Brad Osmus to center. Everett scores, Gutierrez scores, and 6-2. Then you make the right pitch, you jam the guy, and what happens? You give up two runs. All right, where's the right pitch? The back pipes! <laughs> he goes the other way. There isn't one. There isn't one. <laughs> There's no good matchup against McGuire, Bagwell, Alou, Sheffield. Griffey, second of the game. Ask Top seven, two on, Tigers up one nothing. Damian Easley from John Lieber over Mark Smith's noggin. Brian Muller and Brian Hunter score on the stand-up triple. Tigers stake to a 3-0 lead. Bottom seven, still 3-0. Al Martin. Damian Easley. Oh, good grab. Then gets his man. One of 16 ground ball outs for Muller. First road win of the year. Tigers shut out the Pirates at Three Rivers. Twins. Willie Green has just hit a bomb. Green's 10th home run on the year. Cincinnati up 3-0. A rough night for Latroy Hawkins and the Twins. Red solid defense all night long. Orlando Merced, little chopper. Barry Larkin. That's just Barry being Barry. Scenario pretty much sums up the night for the Twins. Larkin. There goes the bat into the twin. Nearly takes off Bob Tewksbury's head. Tewksbury getting the night off, nearly his head off. And he can joke about it a little bit. I think he's joking. Twins take it on the chin and nearly on the